So after that men's doubles, we turn our attention to women's doubles. And this is the destination Dubai ranking just the Super Series tournaments taken into account for this. And I can tell you that the second and third ranked players were uh, both beaten in the first round here in Malaysia. I wonder what that will do to the rankings for next week. They, of course, were the number one and two seeds. Uh, but the women's doubles we're about to watch the only remaining Malaysians in the tournament. Vivian Hu and Woon Ki Wei up against the number eight seeds from China, led out by Jiang Qing and her partner Chia Huan. Yeah, wonderful to hear the support from the home fans to this women's doubles combination. Kawahara, Yoshinobu of Japan, on half of this one. So this, ah, oh, no, look, there's my friend, the Malaysian supporters. And the man in the front there with the tannoy, he was supporting when I was playing. Now, oh, what a delight to see him again. Needing the cheers for the Malaysian players. So for the Chinese combination, this is their first ever tournament together. They're both very fine players. Well, that we have no doubt, but I'm not terribly sure how they play as a combination. Tiang Ching, on the right as we look at them. 28 years of age, her partner five years younger, but they're both from Anhua, near Yiyang in Hunan province. And uh, that confirms that this is their first ever tournament together. Career win loss, zero and zero but they are the number eight seeds, and perhaps I want to just explain that, so that's because they've got a notional ranking, because both of them highly ranked with other partners. So to the Malaysians, Vivian, who turned 25 last month, and Wunki Wei, 26, uh, both born within a day of each other, 19th and 18th of March, their birthdays. They're number 18 in the world ranking at the moment. They've actually gone down two places this week. They have been as high as 12. And this is their second quarter final at their home Super Series event. Uh, their first was three years ago, where they lost out to Bowie Sin and Chongxian Sin. Of course, this has to be the first ever meeting between these two pairs because it's the first ever tournament for the Chinese combination. This is how they progressed from the second round, the round of last 16, to the quarter-final stage. And if you were with us yesterday, you would have enjoyed the Malaysians playing against the young Indonesia's Awanda and
Twenty to sub to. Unless it's and sub, sorry, sub. Video unless it. Twenty to sub to. Video who will come on. Level. Play. Women's doubles quarter final. Malaysia's last players in this year's tournament. Well, love. Ian, I don't know if you've had a chance to watch the Chinese pair earlier in the tournament. I'm afraid I haven't really had a chance to see them, so uh, I'm really not sure how they're playing as a combination. No, I saw a little bit of the game yesterday, but uh, I'm sure they've played together a lot in practice. They've both got good experience, particularly Tianqing. Yes, of course, Tianqing is a two-time winner, former winner of this Malaysian Open in the women's doubles with two different partners. 2011 with Zhao Yunlei and 2013 with Bao Yi Sin. She's actually been in the final of the mixed doubles here as well. 2011 with Tao Xiaoming. I think it'd be a nice contrast here. I mean. We've got a completely new pair playing a pair that are very, very experienced playing together. Also a left-right hand combination. It'll be interesting to see how the Chinese sort of cope with those little left-right hand combination plays. Three, low. This lady, Xia Huan. World Junior Champion with oh goodness, look at that defence from Tian Qing with Tang Jinhua and that's who she really sort of came onto the world scene with. Did very well with her too. Winners of four titles from five finals. But of course Tang Jinhua was paired with Bao Yi Sin, highly successful. Five, and sort of left Chia a little bit out in the cold really. It's interesting over the years, isn't it? Because Tian Qing's been used with so many different partners over the years. And I know Lee Yongbo's got a lot of respect for her. He's always got confidence in her. But uh, she's brought players through. She's filled in when there's been injuries. Never complains. Always plays a very solid level, very consistent player. And later on in her career, she, of course, she started to win the big ones. No. Olympic champion in London 2012, world champion last year in Copenhagen. And really, she's a player when she came onto the scene, wasn't very successful, to be honest. No. Uh, didn't have great results, but you know, the Chinese are so good at this, aren't they? They pick the players that they think can come through, have got the right attitude and the right technique, and they stick with them. And Tian Qing's really repaid them, I have to say, over the years. Yeah. Well, it's total no. dominance by the Chinese players at the moment. Yeah, of course, Tian Qing, really, I suppose her main partner for so many years when uh, she was a youngster on the tour was Pan Pan. Yeah, I mean, they had the odd good result, but they were very inconsistent as a pair for a long time, I have to say. And uh, you certainly wouldn't have picked at that stage that she was a future world and Olympic champion. Hey. No. Well, this is a nightmare start as far as the Malaysians are concerned. Good rotational play by the Chinese combination. There's me worrying about the fact that they haven't played together before. Well. If you're tuning into the game now, you'll be wondering which, which pair is the new pair. Uh, but in seriousness, I mean, very nervous start from the Malaysian girls. Obviously feeling the pressure a little bit of being the last representatives.
too good. Oh, this is extraordinary. 11 love. And that, sadly, the crowd getting on the backs of their home players is not going to help them. No, very nervy start. Got a feel for them a little bit here. Big crowd in for this match. Last home players in the tournament. They've done well to get this far. The crowd need to get behind them. Yeah. Look, Chinese pair already back out on court. Well, it's not a lot to say really when you've won 11 consecutive points. Well played. Keep your concentration. Keep your focus. More work going on at the other end. Malaysian coaches working hard on the players, trying to get the confidence up. Probably trying to give them two or three simple things to focus on. That's good. Yeah, and listen to the fans. Look at Tiang Ching. Yeah, you shouldn't have played it over there. We've lost a point. Yeah, she'll be bossing this relationship. We're going to see a novelty here, Jill. Forehand serve. Crikey. That takes me back a bit. Has she been doing that all tournament? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's only one other player I can think of who uses the forehand serve nowadays, and that's Juana Butter. Here we go. Yeah, it's a lovely serve too. Do you know, very interestingly, during the All England, when uh, I was sitting alongside Steen Peterson, and we were talking about one of the English players who's struggling with her serve at the moment, and, you know, players who lose confidence on serve, and he said, you know, why not try something completely different? Because it isn't a problem with the technique, it's all about confidence. So why not try a forehand serve? Now, this is just fascinating, because here we are, we've got a player, one of the top Chinese players, that's doing precisely that. Don't think that she's ever lost confidence on a backhand serve. I don't know whether she's used the forehand serve for a long time. No, I don't know the reasoning behind it. Certainly, uh, I was quite surprised when I saw it yesterday because traditionally she has been a backhand server, but uh, she looks quite confident with it, I have to say. Great defence. Yeah. Turn the defence. Xia Huan. That's the one. Again. This is a good rally. This is a brilliant rally. Oh, a complete miss hit from the left handed Wunky Way. so hard to create this opportunity but when it came up she just snatched at it a real sign of nerve still 
64 shots. Oh, my goodness me. That's good. Interesting. Tian Ching looks more animated on court than I've seen her for a while. Maybe the challenge of playing with a younger partner is just freshened her up a little bit. I think that's a very good point, actually, Ian. I mean, I remember that uh, after years in partnerships, you know, women's doubles and mixed doubles, I sort of specialised in most of the time. And, yeah, just occasionally playing with somebody else. I remember playing this event with Christine Magnusson from Sweden. In fact, we reached the final. It was a one-off. You know, it does Three, just give 90. you a little bit of a lift, doing something different, playing with somebody new and having to think a little bit more on court. It's also the challenge of being the leader as well. I mean, Tian Ching very often has played a supporting role in her partnerships. And I think, you know, maybe some similarities with yourself towards the end of your career, Joe, where you, you took on younger partners and took control of it, and it's a different challenge. Yes. It's gone wide, and it's total domination in the opening game by the brand new partnership of Tian Ching and Xia Huan. 21-3 in just 11 minutes. I just wonder, Jill, this is an interesting point, maybe. You know, the two girls, they've been coached by the same person, same coach for a number of years. And that coach happened to just leave uh, Badminton Malaysia last week. Probably in this situation where they're a little bit stressed, a little bit nervous, it would have been useful for them to have a familiar face coming onto court. Yeah, that's a good point. But the coaches, Malaysian coaches, there we are. I can tell you, Jeremy Gang and Coach Pang. Coach Pang. Wow, they're very experienced coaches. It was no disrespect yeah. to them. It's just, you know, the girls have worked a long time with Rossman. Mm. You know, he's been with them when they have won medals and won big matches. And in this situation where they're clearly nervous, you know, maybe it would have been good for them to have somebody, you know, that knows them a little bit better. just read the situation, read what frame of mind they're in prior to the match as well. But also knowing what to say in a situation like this. Yeah, yeah it takes time to Come learn in. what language to use Come when on. with players and Play. when to talk a lot, when to talk less. And no, it's absolutely vital right now that the Malaysian pair get a better start. Which indeed they have. into the smash. Thank you. Oh. 
That's not the goal. Oh, certainly saw it. Cool. Racket not pointing That's in and down the direction. Two, oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Here's our service judge, Jitarut Karapat of Thailand. Slightly confusing for the service judges as well. They don't see many forehand serves these days. No. But I would have thought it's more likely for the racket not to be pointing in a downward direction on the backhand serve. Quite often when a uh, player plays the flick, the, the racket head comes up and therefore it's not pointing in a downward direction. But a low serve on the forehand serve, you know, it's must have been jolly flat on it for it to be called. Yeah, well worked. Yeah, it's much better. Nice combination play. Hopefully Hoon will gain a bit of confidence there. She's got into the net position and managed to finish it this time. Good pressure applied from the rear court. Nice finish on the forecourt. That's good. Starting to get her legs moving, looking to come up the court. Close that space down in the forecourt. You see it here, she takes the wrist, comes in. Good doubles. the court attendant to come on. Well, it was a slip, wasn't it? Yeah, slip before the shuttle got there. These long stockings keeping the calf muscles warm are becoming very popular, very trendy in London, aren't they? Ah, there's a lot of science behind it as well. Compression aids the circulation. Too much from the rear court here, the Chinese pair keeping the shuttle going down, keeping the pressure on the Malaysian defence, and eventually getting the mistake. Oh, good defence. Yeah, that uh, was nice positioning of the smash too, wasn't it? Oh, it was a super rally. Deep in defense, managed to convert it to attack. And then just switched the attack to find the weakness on the defense. There we see it. Yeah. Switching the sides. One left, one right. Brilliant. Six, what a smash four. from Xia Huan. in pair. Nice combination. Mm. 
Oh, she's come forward again. That was nice. What a rally. Oh, it's gone wide. I was really clever, though, in the early stages of that rally. I thought Tiang Ching realized her partner was in a bit of bother, out of position, and she gave a really high lift to give her time to get back into position. Yeah, showing all of her experience there. But it's good to see the Malaysian pair getting moving. They've got the legs moving now, starting to play with more confidence, extending the rallies creating some opportunities for themselves. Oh, this time it's Tian Chin who reads the play, Five. takes the chance. Steps in, steps into the forecourt. Here we'll see a go after this one, there we go. Good play. I'm seeing signs that Tiang Ching is playing with a little more freedom in this partnership, willing to go forward to the net a little bit more normally when she's playing with Zhao Yunlei. Zhao Yunlei is quite clearly one of the best front court players in the world, and therefore we don't see this sort of play from Tiang Ching. No, there are signs that she's really enjoying this, and of course she can play a really, really good mix. She's a good four court player. It's just playing with Zhao Yunlei, there was more, it was more logical for her to play more in the rear court that she's a very competent front court player. Yeah, actually won two Super Series titles in the mixed doubles, says Tian Ching. You get bonus points if you can name them for me, Ian. Uh, I remember her playing in the final of the Korean. I'm not sure whether they won. No. No. Both on home soil. China Open and the China Masters. But they had a little oh. run where they Ten, played uh, they played Zhao Yunlei and uh, Zhang Nang in a, in a couple of finals in a row. Mm, and yeah. uh, they were, I think they got, she got up to, I think she got up to number two in the mix, did she? Did she get up to a number two world rank in the mix? Oh, I don't have that in front of me at the moment. 34 shots. No, that's one of five straight points. 6-5, it all looked very close. It looked as if the Malaysians, as you said, they've got their feet moving. They've really looked into it. And then suddenly the Chinese pair just up the intensity. Well, um, Tian Ching spotted the danger, saw what was happening, saw that Hoon was starting to step in and take the front court. And Tian Ching said, no. No, you can't do that. I'm going to go in and take control of that, and that turned the game again. Again, she's showing what great experience she's got. She read the play. She realised what the Malaysians were trying to do. And stepped in and changed the tactics. It's just too solid an attack, isn't it? There's no yeah. real big explosive power, but everything's so well placed. Good variety, changes of direction, changes of speed. Eventually breaks the defensive uh, formation. That's a great serve. What a good serve from Tian Chi. What were we saying about mixed? That was a classic mixed play, wasn't it? Yeah. Good short serve. Saw it get below net height, took a step in. Great technique to kill on the backhand side. Well, that was seven straight points, and it really has put a different complexion on this second game.
Yeah, again, just a clever Seven. switch of attack, isn't it? Clever change of direction, breaking the defence. No, it's gone long. Yeah, she was sharp forward there as well, wasn't she? Tian Ching. Yeah, well, she's seen the danger at the from the beginning of the game where Wing was starting to step in and trying to take control of the net. And Tian Ching's uh, just not allowed that to continue. Here we go again, following in all the time. Yeah, good play. 16, 8. Ooh, that's wild. Seventeen eight. Look at that rotational play of the Chinese players. Would never, never know this is their first tournament together. Well, they've got some decent sparring at home, I'd have to say. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure they've played a few good quality sets at home to get used to each other. to turn the defence. Couldn't get it away. Yep, right idea. Oh dear, that's a shocking serve. I think that answers the question whether she has got a problem with service. That was, uh, that was incredible. <laughs> Missed it. That was a real opportunity. The lift was short. So up come match point opportunities. And Malaysia's participation in their home Super Series event is about to come to an end. In yeah. fact, it is now over. 21-3, 21-10 in just under 30 minutes of play. Well, they were outclassed today, the Malaysians. Desperately nervous, I suspect, in the opening game. Look at 21, that. 10. Thank Perfection you. on the flick serve. Close out the match. Yeah, and they're happy with that, and so they should be. That is total, total domination. 
Well, I wonder if uh, this is the start of many tournaments together. Oh, they're through to a semi-final in their first ever tournament. That's not such a bad start, is it? So through to the semi-final. And they will... Well, that's uh, the wrong part of the draw. That's the top half of the draw. Bottom half of the draw. Not terribly sure who won the other quarterfinal between the Dutch pair and the Koreans. So to the last quarterfinal of the evening and it's men's singles. So looking at the destination Dubai ranking and two Danes on the top of the list there and Shrikanth Kadambe going up 13 places to number four after winning his home event in Delhi last week. So to our last quarterfinal and it features the world champion and world number one Chen Long of China up against Kento Momota of Japan.